Well, hello, God bless you. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. And I pray that you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. Now I'm excited about the service tonight. If Listen, full disclosure, I'm in Memphis, Tennessee at the uh, uh, Holy Convocation, but I want to talk to you here today uh, about tonight, and I want to follow up and talk to you about uh, 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 the trickery, the, the deceiving nature of these people that we are contending with who are trying to destroy our children, who are trying to, who, these people who, I call it a bloodlust, but Brother Gary, for the unborn. Uh, I showed you last week where the Mife, Miso people put this vandalized our property without, without our permission. They asked no one. All I can say is you better thank God that we didn't see you. We, they asked no one as they came and stuck this on uh, our property out in front of the church. Now, if this is not bad enough, let me show you. They, they're using technology, and and my my opinion is most technology is is almost like a gun. It's a it's uh it's it's amoral. It, it it's it's neither evil in and of itself. It's not good in and of itself. It's it's what it does in the hands of the right or the wrong person. But here's here's a, a little thing that they have, a little trick that they have parents to come between you and your children. Um, if the child is viewing their website and you walk into the room, they have, uh, check this out. It's, it says this, Brother Gary, I'll put it on the screen for you. It says, for your safety, to escape this page quickly, please hit the quick exit button on your ESC button on your keyboard at any time to leave immediately. You will be rerouted automatically to weather.com without our website showing in your browser history. So they're teaching your children. These are wicked people. They're teaching your children how to hide from you, how to trick you, how to keep you from knowing uh, things that you need to know. Parents need to know whether their children are visiting uh, such a repugnant uh, website. Uh, abortion on our own terms. Who could even come up with a theme like that? Who could come up with a mind? Uh, uh, what mind? What depraved person could come up with such a thing? And this is supposed to sell. I guess it was tested. Yes, yes, we can have abortion on our own terms. Well, I'm here to tell you, no, you cannot. No, you cannot. There will come a day when you will have to give an account of the deeds done in your body. All of us will. There will come a day when the God of the Bible, you elected officials who vote for such wickedness, you inventors out there who invent such wickedness, you uh, thinkers out there who think up this kind of wicked behavior, and you're coming up with multiple ways to try to come between parent and child and to encourage them to kill their offspring. Oh, there's come a day, there will come a day when the God of the Bible will call all to reckon who was a part of such bloodletting and bloodshedding in our streets. God's going to deal with you. God's going to deal with you. And uh, to uh, violate uh, uh, private property, uh, I would not, I would not. I would not, Brother Gary, go to an abortion clinic in this city. I would not step on their property and stick on their property logo, a logo or a saying of any kind from our church. I respect their property rights. These people respect nothing. Uh, they're cowards. Now, they won't come and do it where you can see them. 
uh, but they, they, they respect nothing. And I want to say to uh, our Hispanic friends out there, uh, uh, the, uh, one of the leaders, Nancy Cardenas Pina, she's the campaign director. Uh, and check this out. She, her, Ella. She, her, Ella. I guess, uh, I guess there's a connection between the pronoun people, the trans community, the LBGTQIA+, and the abortion community. Surprise, surprise, surprise. But look at this. She is a policy expert and an organizer at heart advocating at the intersection of M slash immigration and reproductive justice with a desire to see communities exercise their full bodily autonomy. I almost chuckle every time I see people describe uh, uh, abortion as reproductive justice. Again, again, and most first graders know this, there is no reproduction in abortion. These people have to lie to you because if they tell you the truth, you won't follow them. The truth doesn't sell with these uh, people. Uh, uh, so they have to call it something that it is not. They call it reproductive justice. When you know that there is no reproduction in abortion, look up the word abortion. See if you find the word uh, reproduction in it. Uh, and, and if you study the procedures, you know that there is no reproduction in it. If the woman is pregnant one, with one child and they, she go into the clinic, uh, two people go in, her and that unborn baby, one person leaves her. If she has twins, three go in, one leaves. There's no reproduction. There's only subtraction in abortion. But look at this. She was born and raised in Rio Grande, in the Rio Grande Valley. She lived in Mexico before returning to the United States, continuing her public education. Nancy graduated. It goes on to talk about the school that she's gone through. Uh, she attended and all that. So, uh, but she is, uh, uh, she's the campaign director. Uh, hey, Nancy, how about directing them to uh, uh, to respect property rights? Uh, Nancy, why are you leading a, a, a campaign that uh, shows the kids how to quickly fool their parents? And I, I wonder if weather.com is aware that uh, they got the computer set the way you hit the little quick uh, exit uh, weather.com, do you do, uh, uh, are you not aware that they're doing this? Are you, are you down with this weather.com? Are you a part of this? You know, I, I think that's worth uh, uh, looking into. So all of these wicked, wicked folk are pulling together. They're trying to kill babies. They're trying to destroy and redefine the family. Uh, everybody's attacking dad, you know, and uh, 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 the notion of a, of a two parent family and all of these things. These foundations are under attack. And my friends, I'm sounding the alarm. And I want to tell you, I want to say to you out there who are watching today, stand in the gap. Stand on the word of God. You be the voice for God in these things. And if you speak up for the Lord, the Lord will certainly use you and God will anoint you to influence someone, influence somebody to turn someone's heart in the right direction. And my friends, as I did said the other day, I say again today, let us pray for Israel. The, the battle is increasing. Things are taking place. We need to keep Israel lifted. We need to pray for the uh, Israel Defense uh, uh, Alliance. And we need to pray for those brave men and women who are hazarding their lives in a just cause. A just cause. Hamas doesn't care for you. Hamas doesn't care for me. Hamas uh, views America as the great Satan. There are prayers prayed every Friday. They've been prayed for years for the destruction of Israel and the destruction of America. And isn't it amazing that in the streets of America,
We see college students, we see people marching in, su in support of the very people who are praying for our demise. What has happened to us? I wonder at times if we hadn't already been judged. Because one of the signs of judgment is the inability to make just and righteous decisions. Now, I want you to join us tonight here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. God's going to bless us real good. The word of the Lord is going to come forth and you're going to be blessed, my friends. And if it is the Lord's will, as soon as possible, the Lord's willing, uh, we will be back in the saddle, preaching the word of the Lord, declaring God's truth. And uh, I want you to pray for me. Uh, I'm going to be preaching uh, tomorrow around uh, 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 10 a.m. at the historic Mason Temple uh, in Memphis, Tennessee, on Men's Day. What an honor it is. I thank the presiding bishop, presiding bishop J. Drew Shid for this opportunity. I thank God for my co-director, Director Michael B. Golden Jr. What a joy it is to work with that man of God and the men of the men's ministry. I'm gonna tell you something. God has given me a word. God hasn't given me a patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Uh, but uh, uh, I have something to say. And uh, I'm going to say what God has given me to say. And uh, at all times, we say what God tells us to say. And we let the chips fall where they may. Someone said to me, Bishop Wooden, you aim at no one, but you hit everyone. I think that's an apt description of God's truth. And when you're found in the word of God, my friends, don't get angry. Repent. Ask God to help you come up and to get better. That's what I do. And I'm found in the word of God <laughs> in every sermon that I preach. By the time I preach it to you, I've already repented and asked God to help me and to give me strength to come up. So I love you. We'll see you tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ.